All right, I'm gonna cover this blind squirrel. And I'm gonna, I had put it on, the originals were put on the uh, Mustad 3906B size six. I'm gonna put it on a Gamagatsu size six. And I smashed the bar because I'll probably be fishing this. Okay. So I always lay a little super glue. There's really no need. But hey. Okay, we'll start it just behind the eye and we'll wrap back. And um, what I'm going to do on this fly is I'm actually going to take this back a little bit down the bend. And I'll talk about what that's going to help us do in a little bit. Um, now I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this guy here <clears throat> for my bottom. You can use uh, a light green, a brown, <clears throat> pale yellow, <clears throat> whatever you want for the underside of your fly. And I'm going to cut out about uh, a little more than half an inch of this. And then I'm going to <clears throat> tie the tips in at the back. Just a little bit down the bend. And next I'm going to take some of, uh, I think this is a whiting or whitting um, booger pack, hackle here in Grizzly. And I'm going to pull out a moderate feather. It's not too big. It's not too small. You know, you can play around with the size. You can use some schlop in that'll be a little bit bigger and bushier. Alright. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna tie the fat end in at the back. That'll give us kind of that crayfish profile just a little bit and next I'm going to start my dubbing loop you could use some chenille here if you want whatever color you want you can go light tan pale yellow orange uh, I'm going to go with uh, some of my squirrel tail dubbing kind of a bristly dubbing here with some brown and orange yarn mixed in. I'll make it pretty sparse. Clean it up just a little. I'm just going to wrap that on. Move this thread just a little bit more forward. I'm going to open this loop up, clean this out so I get a nice clean tie-in point. A couple wraps there and cut that. Okay, so then I'll grab my hackle. I'm gonna start wrapping that forward. I'll keep the wraps pretty tight. Yeah, you could do two hackles if you wanted a little bushier. This seems to work good. Pretty long hackle. Okay, tie that off. Snip it. <clears throat> 
Now I'm gonna just take my scissors, you can use your little bodkin, whatever, so just find the center, pull this forward. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull kinda tight, and if it splits down the middle, who cares? Now the reason we went down the bend of the shank is that when you pull this tight, it's gonna tend to cup the feathers more and push them down this way. Which is going to aid your fly and riding hook point up. Okay, that looks good. Now you could pretty much call this fly finished right now. That would probably be an effective fly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to get a couple long squirrel hairs here. I'm going to get those out. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some fox colored squirrel tail and I'm going to pull out about that much. <clears throat> you can play with it. Make that fly. I let the, the fibers here extend about a hook's length beyond the band, maybe a little less. And you can play with that. You can make it shorter, longer, whatever you want to do. Okay, and you want to be a little careful here. And you need to add some cement to this. Try and make sure it gets into those uh, hair fibers. Otherwise, you'll have a little bit of a problem with the stuff pulling out sometimes. Right. Clean that up just a little so I can move forward. Right. Now I'm just going to cut this as close as I can to my thread. You could add another hackle right here if you wanted, kind of backstabber style, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to come to the front. I'm going to try and clean that those stray fibers up just a little, but that's going to do it for me really. So I'm just going to whip finish and call this fly done. done yet. I'm going to do one more thing with this guy. Okay, so the finishing touch on this, I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to get some hard as nails. I'm going to coat that turkey feather with a little cement. And when I do it, I'm going to hold these fibers down. Some of that cement will go through to your dubbing and your hackles and everything will want to take that same direction that you're pulling it. Doesn't need a lot of help though. Alright, that is the blind squirrel. And uh, this fly is going to be quite productive for me from grass carp to common carp. Um, a lot of my fishing, if I can see the fish, they're pretty shallow. 
and this fly presents very delicately and the fish really <clears throat> seem to like uh, squirrel tail it just provides a great look to your fly so I hope you found that helpful thanks for watching I'm going to see if we can't get a close up before my battery dies too There it is.